Hi, welcome to another eAmorous 2 tutorial for Max for Live. Okay, we're going to try to do this in a minute, see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to add on to the last patch we did. I'm going to add an, a real envelope. It's an ADSR. Uh, it's attack, decay, sustain, and release. And I'm going to put some dials on it. Let's see if I can get this the meat of this done in a minute. Uh, I may have to come back and fix a few more things. But okay, live dial uh, in milliseconds. Uh, and let's see, second one will also be in milliseconds, uh, attack, decay, and sustain is going to need to be um, a value from 0 to 1, right? A sustain is a level, not a time. Attack and decay are times, sustain is a level, and let's see, i got to make sure to change that to 0 to 1. Unfortunately, it's not a default for that, so I'm trying to stick with, you know, everything's off the shelf here. I don't have anything set up ahead of time. Okay, 0 to 1, and my release, that's also a time. So I'm going to set a dial up for that, and I'm going to set that to be a time dial. And based on how much time I'm using here, let's see where we're going to wind up. Okay, let's patch things up real quick. Attack goes to the first on the ADSR, decay to the second, sustain to the third, and release on the fourth. I need to fill, let's see, okay, yeah. Okay, that's going to what's, what triggers my multiplication there. It's going to control the cycle, how much the cycle gets through. 127 gets fed to the trigger, and there we have it. Whew. All right. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm never going to be able to put all the the, uh, the labels on there in time. So <laughs> we're going to run over a minute here a little bit, just, just adding labels. But that's the idea, okay? So we have an attack, decay, sustain, release. That's our new envelope instead of just a straight 0 or 1 with velocity. Now, this is still velocity controlled because it's you know, starting with that 0 to 127. Um, so we have everything we did in the last patch, but now we've added a true uh, envelope to it. So let's see. Uh, let me let me label these so you can kind of see what's going on. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, so attack, decay. And I'm using some shortcuts. If you click on the, uh, the I that pops up, then you can get the, the window, and then you type the first few characters of the uh, attribute name. I'm typing SH, and that gets me to the short name right away, and then I can just type in release. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. So I have a short attack, medium decay, and some release. I get some bell-like sounds there. Nice, right? And if I increase my sustain, it sustains as I'm holding things. It's still a monophonic synth. This is really, really simple. Uh, eventually, we're going to get into some filtering, and we're getting into polyphony, and that's going to be a big one. So keep tuning in one minute at a time to learn Max. Take care.